Hi everyone, welcome to the demo of uh, Jammu and Kashmir Counseling for NEET PG 2025. This is the registration demo. Jammu and Kashmir uh, registration started yesterday at around 11 a.m. and is available till 27 September midnight. Uh, we'll take you through the entire registration process. Uh, the first part of the registration will be a single page form filling and the second part of the registration will be primarily uploading of certificates etc. Uh, we'll take you through everything one by one field by field. Uh, we will also have the Jammu and Kashmir info guide up uh, tomorrow and uh, the rules of Jammu and Kashmir counseling alone will be a little delayed because Jammu and Kashmir has removed last year's rule from the information rules from the information brochure so we are expecting maybe a slight change in the rules uh, but we'll still nevertheless wait for some time and then publish the Jammu and Kashmir rules uh, now we'll go into the um, Jammu and Kashmir uh, uh, counseling uh, on how to apply first uh, the website link is available here all your notifications will be available over here the application link is available over here both these links will be available in the description the uh, all the notifications in Jammu and Kashmir will be available in this website the current website is far better than the previous year's website which was a little cluttered so now uh, you will have a complete idea you go into the need PG click on the need PG apply link you will have all the notifications available there hopefully it is better for this year now eligibility uh, the, uh, the eligibility basic eligibility of Jammu and Kashmir is straightforward there are a lot of clauses here but it's pretty straightforward you have to be a resident of Jammu and Kashmir uh, or UT of Ladakh so uh, either Jammu and Kashmir residents or uh, Ladakh residents are eligible uh, the rest of it you can possibly ignore too you can be an MBBS from any state uh, doesn't matter JK or any state uh, but uh, we would suggest you to have a Jammu and Kashmir Medical Council registration we are yet to confirm whether uh, they accepted uh, a different state medical council registration last year so we had highlighted earlier itself that there might be an issue so better to have a Jammu and Kashmir medical council registration otherwise just call up JO, JKBOPE for confirmation and uh, otherwise uh, even foreign medical graduates who are Jammu and Kashmir residents or uh, UT of Ladakh residents are eligible online applications how do you go in once you go into this particular link uh, you will be able to click on apply online you, you go to jkbope uh, of uh, this particular link you will be able to see this page and if you scroll down you will see need pg mdms apply online it will take you to this direct link you can also click on the link the login page looks like this uh, here you can uh, see multiple uh, options available in terms of uh, the advertisement the important instructions and the uh, 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 links to multiple uh, logins, forgot uh, password and forgot st uh, student ID etc. All these will be available over here. You disable pop-up blocker because some of the notifications might be available, uh, some of the uh, uh, register, uh, login uh, pages etc. might be available on pop-up later. So please upload the, uh, please uh, disable the pop-up blocker. Now we can go on to the login page. Uh, in this particular page, once you click, you can uh, start here with click to apply and then go on to the login page. Once you log in, you will come back to this page and here at any point in time, you can click to login if you have already been registered. Login page has this, goes through the complete information. Uh, note that uh, uh, everything is available over here. You should also go through the prospectus or the information brochure which is available. Almost the same as last year with very, very minimal changes. You can go through that. Uh, up to you to go through that or we'll run the info gate tomorrow you can also do go through the info gate for some information go through everything and then click on i have read, read the instructions and click on apply uh, registration page it takes you to the registration page we are showing you the registration page the registration page is a long page we are showing everything here one followed by this set of fields and then a submit button so this is uh, the registration page uh, with all the fields we will take you through every field one by one first you start with the neat roll number this is the neat pg roll number starting with 25 you can just mention the entire roll number and the all india score that will be in your all india scorecard uh, any scorecard is fine uh, and the all india neat rank the entire rank that you got in all india this is the neat pg rank the august 29th scorecard will have this rank uh, date of birth you mention as in your neat pg scorecard please mention all these details then go on to select the date of completion of mbbs there are some queries on the date of completion of mbbs usually it is in your mark sheet the last date etc if it is not in your mark sheet the, uh, uh, then you will have with in your degree certificate 
usually you would have a february 28th or a timeline which is clearly mentioned in your degree certificate or you know that this is the date of completion does not matter if it is what your degree certificate one but you have a different one in your mark sheet uh, exams happened in december but my course ended in february etc don't go with uh, those differences and all it is not it, they are those are minor whatever you put is fine as long as you have your mbbs degree certificate next enter your max marks and marks obtained this is the sum of all the marks that you have till final year mention that uh, that is the throughout the MBBS all the uh, examinations throughout MBBS the total marks and the total marks obtained sum it up and then put it over here uh, then uh, go on to select the residence In, when you select the residence you have two options you can be a Jammu and Kashmir resident or you can be UT of Ladakh resident so you select accordingly you would clearly know because your residence certificate would be from Jammu and Kashmir or Ladakh we are starting with Ladakh first we will take through Jammu and Kashmir later the only differences with respect to Ladakh we will highlight and then move on to a JK uh, example now here once you select Ladakh you will have two options STL or ST Ladakh. So, this difference you would clearly know. So, depending upon whether you belong to STL or STK, Kargil or Lay or Ladakh, uh, that you can check or click over here. Here you will select the right option over here. Once you select Ladakh, automatically the category will be uh, will not be available over here. Subcategory and category will not be available. You will be availing seats which are based on the Ladakh merit list. So, be uh, and that also involves the bond etc and all you would know that now next you go on to the uh, jnk selection so if you are a jnk resident then select jnk here and then you go on to select the date of issue of domicile certificate your domicile certificates date of issue just mention it over here it will be in the certificate itself select the category that you belong to you will have multiple options over here uh, open merit category scheduled cast and under scheduled tribe you will have st1 or st2 we'll show you that and then also the obc categories like resident of back backward areas alc or international border or uh, the other backward classes now here if you don't belong to any of these categories you shall select open merit uh, let us say one by one we'll take you through if you select open merit obviously it will not show you anything same with schedule cast uh, uh, but uh, if you are selecting you don't need to upload a certificate for open merit if you're selecting schedule cast the date of issue of the category certificate is to be mentioned over here the day month and year has to be mentioned if you are selecting the uh, other uh, obc categories uh, uh, backward class categories resident of backward area class then you will have to mention the issue date of the certificate the issue date of the certificate should not be before the application end date correct very clearly so that is 27th as of now it should not be before that uh, it should not be after that particular date so sorry uh, really sorry the issue date should not be after that particular date for uh, the date of issue of certificate also the certificate should not have expired which means the next renewal date of category certificate or the expiry date should not be before the date of uh, last date of uh, application form so if you are mentioning issue date of category certificate it will be before 27 september if you are mentioning next renewal date it will be after 27 september expiry should not be before uh, then go on if same for uh, uh, alc actual line of control or uh, international border candidates next for ews you will just mention the issue date of the category certificate this should be uh, uh, with reference to this financial year schedule tribe uh, only if you belong to these uh, categories community categories schedule tribe 2 st2 is if you belong to this community categories uh, both you will have to mention the issue date of the category certificate other backward classes then you just mention the issue date of category certificate so this is what is required as far as each class is concerned uh, if you have a subcategory this is for the horizontal reservation part if you have a subcategory mention yes what is the subcategory these are the subcategories if you are uh, if you belong to children of defense personnel if you are eligible for uh, outstanding proficiency in sports you might have already applied for the uh, Jammu and Kashmir Sports Council that if you belong to or if you belong to children of JKPM or children of police or military paramilitary forces police personnel or paramilitary forces of JK then you will select any one of these categories so this you select and then go on if you select children of defense personnel alone then you will have the priority clearly mentions the priority is also mentioned in the prospectus you can have a look at the priority if you have any queries you can call us too and uh, the certificates need to be present uh, got from the respective authorities the circle officer or the DAG etc depending upon which uh, category that you belong to 
Next, we move on to the email. Enter your email and confirm the email. Please note that your email has to be with you till the end of the process. That is very, very critical because OTPs or multiple communications might come into your email. Uh, internship completed, obviously, you will mention yes. Uh, date of completion of internship, you will have to mention this is before 31st July 2025. Valid category certificate, if you belong to a particular category, then you should select obviously yes. Uh, whether debarred uh, earlier by, by uh, BOPE, in case you have uh, uh, quit your uh, MDMS uh, seat last year, then there is a debarment of three years, then you would say yes and you become ineligible very clearly. Uh, mobile number, mention the mobile number and the alternate mobile number over here. Uh, right now, uh, if it is internship completion is no, you might not need to enter the date is what this mentions and uh, uh, alternate mobile number we had mentioned. Now we come to the last part of this uh, uh, before this we get into the service categorization, whether eligible under Hindu minority quota, NRI quota. So if you are going to be eligible under NRI quota, or Hindu minority quota or you want to apply under NRA quota basis eligibility, check these boxes. Hindu minority, if you are a Hindu minority candidate can produce a Hindu minority certificate, NRA, if you are an NRA candidate or your parent is NRA or as per the norms. Now, uh, whether pursuing PG, yes or no, we uh, already mentioned. If you are pursuing a PG, you should have completed your PG. As per the prospectus, you should have completed your PG before the date of need PG ex uh, uh, application form. When, it, when did it happen? Long time back. And you should have uh, got your results before 27th of September. That is the rule that they have mentioned. It might be a PG diploma or PG course. Now, that is the rule that they have mentioned. You can just take a call on that. You can confirm with them. Whether served in difficult area. So, this is only for service candidates. The next set you are going to see is for service candidates. There is some confusion saying, even if I say no, again in service says yes. Correct? Don't worry about that. Mention no over here. Whether served in difficult area, mention. Uh, if you are mentioning no, mention no and go ahead in both the areas. Let us say you are mentioning yes here. Who will mention yes? Only in-service candidates, right? Mention yes over here. And nature of service you mention as whatever you want to select depending upon where you have said, uh, served. This is for claiming difficult area first. So nature of service you can mention regular and then or ad hoc or uh, NRHM, National Rural Health Mission, etc. Since when you have been in service, number of years and months, you will have to produce the certificate for this claiming difficult area marks, yes or no. So this serves one purpose. Now second, we again start with service, yes or no. This possibly is for other than claiming difficult area. Again, you say whether in service, yes or no then nature of service regular or not, then whether NOC has been obtained. Please understand that you might claim difficult area marks, you might not claim difficult area marks, that is sorted out over here. Then again, if you are not, if you are going to be in service with or without difficult area marks, you will have to get an NOC anyways. So that NOC, whether you have got, you will have to select over here. This is for service candidates. So basically for each field, check and give whatever is right, it will be sufficient. Now, verification code, you can press, uh, click, uh, uh, mention the verification code and then click on submit. Now, this will take you to this registration page. We have blanked it out. Uh, it will mention those who uh, do not have uh, need rank are eligible to apply, uh, enter zero, but that will not be happening for you. No problem at all. Here, you have two options. Click here to edit and click here to proceed. If you click on the red uh, link over here, it will take you back to edit. So, here always check every detail and then only click your green uh, click here button if you click on green it will take you to the next page you will be registered you can't go back and change any of these details so always at this stage take a printout check every field ticket consciously check every field and then proceed your application number once you click on proceed over here click here to proceed if your digital registration details are right it will take you to this page where you say it will say you are successfully registered and username will be generated usually this username is your roll number only the same need pg roll number that you had given and you can say it will say thank you for registering we have sent you a mail for activation to your email id which is the email id this email id that you provided while registering that will have the uh, this email id whatever you entered over here that will be will you will receive a mail in that email id once you receive a mail uh, uh, in that email id go there and click on that link in the email go open the email and you would have received a mail click on that email there it will take you to this page. 
you can create your password, new password and confirm new password. But this OTP will also come to your email. Again, a OTP will come to your email. Enter the OTP and enter your new password and confirm new password. Check for the OTP and enter that. Once you click on submit, again, there will be, you will get a confirmation that uh, your the, uh, account has been registered. Your account will be activated. Now, next, you can always go back to this at any point in time to upload documents, etc. Your application number will be usually the 25 number that you have uh, and uh, you can go on uh, and complete the entire form. This submit will say account activated successfully. You can now log in with your new, new password. This is confirmation that you have created your account, but uploading documents is still pending. So please upload your documents. Go here and click on upload documents. It will take you to application number, date of birth and verification code. Enter your application number and date of birth. It will take you to the list of documents which are, which are need to be up, which need to be uploaded. We are not showing all the documents here. Maybe we are not sure if uh, uh, the 12th mark sheets are required. Uh, maybe if it is required, you can upload them. But otherwise, as per the prospectus, these are the list of documents that might be asked. Not for everyone, only for those who are relevant. The MBBS degree certificate, need PG scorecard, registration details, uh, registration details, internship completion certificate, and domicile certificate or UT and Ladakh for everyone. Note that for ca candidates belonging uh, to UT of Ladakh, ST certificate will be treated as a domicile certificate. So you can also upload ST certificate over here. Uh, valid reserve category certificate uh, if you are belonging to OBC or other reserve category classes or EWS certificate uh, as per uh, the notification. Uh, difficult area certificate if it is uh, uh, is, uh, it is uh, if you are claiming difficult area marks for service candidates, the uh, NMC MCA clearance certificate. Some candidates have been asking. This is the clearance certificate that you have obtained based on your MBBS degree, which is outside India, only for foreign medical graduates. That clearance certificate that you have obtained from NMC uh, for proceeding to your internship and everything that is to be updated here, uh, uh, and then. You can uh, get an NOC for uh, NOC for in-service candidates need to be uploaded. These are straightforward. The certificates are uh, around uh, 100 um, uh, KB to 200 KB we guess in PDF format. You can just check all that and then go ahead and upload. In case while uploading you see a signature or in the final reference, uh, sorry, photograph or in this final reference you see a photograph which is not right, don't worry about it. Photograph not populating etc. is not a problem at all. You can go ahead and submit. Once you submit, you will get the, you will have a possibility of printing the form, print the form and take the entire form. So here after upload documents, you will have the final part once you upload that is done. You will print the form and then go back and once again log out, log in if you want, check again whether all the documents have been uploaded. You can click and check if everything has been uploaded, everything is all right. That is the end of it. Uh, so that is confirmation. Go ahead and your form is submitted. Uh, contact details of JKBOPE in case you want query, any queries, uh, have any queries, you can call them up, I think, uh, but the response is not very great. Uh, many candidates are traveling to JKBOPE to uh, get information. If you have any queries, you can also call us on Zynet on these numbers. We will be always available. Any queries, you can also post it here. We will try our level best to respond to those queries. Thanks a lot for watching.